Hello everyone, welcome to my channel Indian School of Physics. Guys, this is Nitin here and today I have come with a very interesting and highly conceptual problem and uh, we will be using a short trick also. Uh, guys, this video is brought to you by Indian School of Physics and Un Academy together and uh, name of this problem is Highly Conceptual Oscillations. Guys, my current courses on Un Academy are uh, course of INPHO Foundation. In this, we have started uh, Laws of Motion and it is also for J Advanced 2023. And there is another new batch has started where we are doing uh, basic mathematics. It is emerged for uh, J 2023. It started on uh, 14th of May and advanced problem solving course for J advanced 2021 is uh, starting tomorrow. Finally, in uh, special classes, tune in for 9.30 PM uh, timings here. Advanced GT for uh, J advanced 2021 uh, is also happening in uh, special classes tomorrow. Again, there will be exam in GT 14 or 15 will be there and advanced courses for JE 2022 in Hindi and English have already started long back from uh, on 20th and 23rd of April. We are about to complete the electrostatics and uh, very soon capacitors will start. Guys, you can access my theory courses which are of advanced plus plus levels for boosting your JE preparation. You can unlock these courses on Unacademy using my code Nitin sir. For more information, you can visit www.unacademy.com and uh, guys, trust me, physics will never be the same again. So here is the statement of uh, this problem. It's uh, an original problem <coughs> on a fixed cylindrical rod of radius R0. Uh, uh, there hangs a thin uniform ring of radius R and mass m the ring can swing freely in vertical plane parallel to the cross section of the cylinder now the ring is given a slight disturbance in its plane there exists a uniform gravity of g consider the following two cases the time period of small oscillation of the ring if rod is frictionless is t1 and the time period of small oscillation of the ring if the rod uh, has sufficient friction to prevent slipping is t2 then the ratio of these time periods uh, t1 and t2 will be so let's discuss the concept part here. The first part is uh, quite easy. Uh, when the surface of cylinder is smooth, then the ring will be in pure translation and the center of ring will be moving in a circle of radius R minus R. So here we can treat this ring as a effective pendulum of length uh, R minus R naught and uh, <clears throat> we can use the direct formula for simple pendulum. I'm not doing the working. So please remember this trick wherever you see such situations you can uh, always use this as a simple pendulum earlier also i have used this and in this problem again i'm using so t1 value is 2 pi under root of r minus r naught by g i'll be bringing few more problems where some complicated system you can directly replace with a, a simple pendulum of effective length and uh, you can directly write without any calculation uh, you can write the time period of oscillation uh, so, but the second part here uh, that is slightly tricky and uh, challenging also uh, when the surface of cylinder is sufficiently rough then there is no slipping between the ring and the cylinder then uh, we can analyze the situation at any general position. So <clears throat> initially this dark uh, diagram which is given here this is the initial uh, position. So if we slightly disturb it then the line joining the two centers it rotates by an angle of phi. So this angle is phi. So d phi by dt will be the angular velocity of this line joining the two centers. So since this point is uh, fixed here, I can write its VCM as r minus r times omega naught, where omega naught is angular velocity of line joining the two centers. All right. So this is going to be VCM value it is going to give us and uh, that is R minus R naught times omega naught and if uh, uh, this ring in the same time when the line joining rotates by phi the ring rotates by an angle of uh, theta then I can write d theta by dt is going to be the omega of ring angular velocity of the ring. And now we can apply condition of no slipping at point P here. So you can see uh, this velocity is VCM in this direction and here it is capital R omega ring. So VCM is equal to capital R omega ring and we know the value of this VCM using the definition of phi. So d phi by dt is omega naught. So I can write here 
the velocity vcm is going to be r minus r r not times omega not now omega not is d phi by dt and this is d theta by dt so i can find the relation between theta and phi which is very useful and uh, majority of the students will make mistake because they don't use this uh, relation here so r minus r not uh, times phi is equal to r theta now here uh, the forces which are going to act is normal reaction friction here so it's better to take torque about this point itself so i am going to take torque about uh, this point and uh, this distance is capital r so tau restoring about p when i am writing i am going to get mg r sin phi for a small angle i can just directly write sin phi as phi so you are going to get here the tau restoring is minus minus nature minus sign is coming because of kinematics of it so mgr times sin phi now tau restoring i can write about uh, this ip into alpha alpha will be uh, angle rotated by this body so ip times d2 theta by dt square that is going to be the uh, <coughs> value of tau restoring here and here this is going to be minus mgr times phi so guys most of the students make mistake in this step itself they assume this itself is the shm uh, equation but you must be very very careful here d2 theta by dt square is coming and here it is phi so this is not the desired equation where we are going to get uh, the time period value we need to bring either completely into theta or completely into phi so that's where we are going to use this relation here so let's substitute ip ip of ring about uh, uh, this point p i can write uh, this ip value as 2 mr square mr square plus mr square parallel axis theorem we can use so this is going to be 2 mr square d2 theta by dt square minus mgr now i am going to convert this phi into theta so phi value is r theta by r minus r naught so here you can see mr square is going to get cancelled this mr square is going to get cancelled so my equation will become d2 theta by dt square this will come other side this will become g divided by 2 times r minus r naught theta equal to 0 this is the uh, shf equation we should be using for time period uh, calculation so time t2 is going to come as uh, 2 pi root of 2 times r minus r naught by g and uh, t1 by t2 ratio is going to be 1 by root 2 and it is independent of uh, the values of uh, radius so this is going to be the final answer guys if you have enjoyed this video please leave a like share this video with others and uh, i'm very sure uh, such type of questions are uh, very very uh, there are high chances that they can be asked in uh, j advanced exam so if you have enjoyed this video please leave a like and if you haven't subscribed the channel please subscribe it i'll be coming up very soon with another amazing problem thank you thanks for watching it